In every fiscal year, 800,000 skilled youth are released into the job market, yet only a third of those are employed. It was in the view of this dilemma that we met up two young men who are in their 20s with a fast-growing business both online and physically. In a bid to follow and explore their passion, they tell us they began a thrift business online that quickly grew into an imports venture. I used to go to Kikomba then back home. After that, I put my stuff at the home, I go for school, I take pics. Those days I usually do some online. I was still bad in school, so I had this passion. Even when I finished school, I continue with this passion because, you know, in Kenya there's no employment. Yeah, Kenya, there isn't, there's no job. Even I didn't go for the fashion design. I had this passion, so I continued with it. The International Trade Center, in conjunction with Kenya's Trade and Industrialization Ministry, has called on East Africa's youth to embrace e-commerce and tap into the global online sales, now worth close to $26 billion as the Africa Continental Free Trade Area gets off the ground next year. Anchored Secretary General Mukisa Kitui has also emphasized the vital role of the free trade area to boost growth opportunities across the continent. While digital trade offers an innovative tool for industrial leapfrogging and income convergence, some African countries unfortunately lack the legal framework and enabling environment for digital trade to thrive. Flacco says taxes imposed by the government on small businesses are unfair and limits their growth immensely. We have to focus on online because at the first time the president restricted movements in, in the city so it has been tough we have to go check the items come home take the pictures and post them so online business is hard because you have it depends on your market but you know having a shop somewhere people just come in so we had to work with online business and it's not a sure bad thing you get customers limitedly. Like on Tuesday, then you stay the whole week, you get the customer the other week, so it's tough. There will be free taxation for seven years for these small businesses, so it will be good. Because if Kenya, we couldn't be taxed, and then we could be far, we could be far. We could be far. We could have some business in the malls, in, in towns, yeah, it could be far, so it's good. He's however hoping that proposals in the Building Bridges Initiative BBI will correct the situation to benefit local entrepreneurs, especially the youth. The youth are increasingly taking entrepreneurship as a venture, with online platforms providing a network for them to achieve their dreams. And the BBI seems to be a source of hope. Sharing Solitaire reporting for K24 Business.